A letter to Paxil, care of Brown University, Providence, Rhode Island. My dear colleague, I have received your recent email requesting details on my current project and wanted to reply post haste. Please excuse the mess as we are at the excavation site as I write this. We followed best practices by conducting an aerial reconnaissance, shown here. Based on the anomalies in the general archaeological matrix which we discovered from our aerial observations, we felt we needed to ground truth the site, and we rapidly moved on to a very thorough surface survey before actually beginning the dig. We had a number of volunteers for the surface survey, and our field walkers found a vast palimpsest to explore, making a few interesting finds. Here is a photo of some of the more ardent field walkers, many of whom were self-proclaimed avocational archaeologists. Beginning the excavation was exciting. As you can see, we discovered some artifacts, although the pyramid-like feature is perhaps the most compelling evidence of a cultural transform. There is a general consensus among the team that this feature is not the result of a natural environmental processes. Some of our more gullible grad students have, perhaps jokingly, propose that this is evidence of aliens visiting our planet, but I have firmly discouraged this pseudo-archaeology. Using the law of superposition, we have begun a typological analysis of the artifacts as they have been recovered, and have placed these typologies in chronological order to establish the relative dating. We have been lucky enough to find the excavator's best friend, as shown here, and have been able to apply chronometric or absolute dating to some artifacts. What a boon! We have also found organic artifacts, and our experts are attempting to assess the age of the remains by reviewing the epiphyses. They are in the midst of their taphonomic analysis now. There has been some dispute regarding ownership of the site and finds, basically since the organic remains were discovered, which I'm sure you can relate to. We have not yet reached sterile soil, but there has been talk of backfilling soon to protect what we have exposed while we conduct our analysis and address ownership questions. I plan to publish and thereby avoid one of archaeology's dirty little secrets, and I hope to use Dr. Bowser's legacy data in this effort to attempt to reclaim and make meaningful his past archaeological work. I'm sure you agree it is a crime this was not studied and published. As you know, less is more in terms of good artifact handling, so I must close and attend to some over-enthusiastic grad students now. I have taken responsibility for curation of the finds, but I am considering bringing in some experts. Please let me know if you have any recommendations. Sincerely, Bug, PhD, President of Dirt, Bones, and Mayhem Institute.